Hi, I'm Mike Rhodes, one of the vergers here at St. Andrews. I wanted to talk with you a bit today about votive candles. Before addressing the use of votive candles, let's remind ourselves and appreciate the symbolism of light and the general usage of candles in religious practice. In Judaism, a perpetual light was kept burning in the temple and the synagogues, not only to ensure the ability to light other candles or oil lamps in the evening, but also to show the continual presence of God. In early Christianity, as today, light has a special significance. In the beginning of the Gospel of John, verse 9, he tells us, the true light that gives light to everyone was coming to the world. John here, of course, is talking about Jesus. In John chapter 8, verse 12, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. When people are baptized here at St. Andrews and any other Episcopal church, a baptism candle is lit from the Paschal candle and given to the newly baptized. This act symbolizes the Paschal mystery, the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, now active in our own lives, bringing into our hearts the presence of the light of Christ, which casts away all darkness. Our torchbearers accompanying the gospel as it goes out among the people to bring the light of the word into the people's hearts. We also feel the most amazing warm light shining through our beautiful stained glass as we kneel at the rail during the Eucharist. So now that we have a better appreciation of the symbolism of light in our church and our lives, let's talk about the votive candles and their uses. What is a votive? Votive comes from the Latin word votivus, which means consisting of or expressing a vow, wish, or desire. What is a votive candle? A votive or prayer candle is a small candle intended to be burnt as a votive offering in the act of Christian prayer especially within the Anglican or Roman Catholic churches. How do I light a votive candle? You approach the stand, identify an unlit candle, you select a match. Using the flame from a lit candle, light the match, then light the candle you have chosen and offer your prayer. We take the light from someone else's candle or intention to light our own. I love this because you are literally sharing the light of Christ with someone else, as it is like St. Paul said, we are many parts but we're all one body. In the act of lighting a candle, you can share in community, making our one body stronger by adding your prayer to someone else's. Then you can extinguish the match and the white sand. What is the coin slot for? The coin slot is for you to make a donation, which is completely voluntary. This is not a pay for the prayer, but rather as a way for our parish to receive an offering from your heart that will be used towards our being the light of Christ in the world as the donations will contribute towards our outreach efforts. Do I say something when I light the candle? You can always say a small prayer. Some people light a candle for the gift of the Eucharist, for what they are about to or have just received. Some people light a candle for loved ones, those who are in need of healing grace, or loved ones who have passed. I always light a candle to remember my father. The candle symbolizes your prayer, which comes from your heart, we will also have prayers available for you to read and pray if this is something that you would like. Do I have to do anything special? Not at all. This is your time to light a candle, pray a little, and reflect. Nothing more or less. This is your time with God and your loved one. Do not feel rushed. Take as much time as you need and allow your heart to be offered to the God who hears and responds to our prayers. There's also some important votive candle etiquette to remember. If all the candles are lit, please do not extinguish one and relight it with your own prayer intention. Trust that God hears your prayer. Please monitor your children around the votive candle stand, as there will be open flame and hot wax, and we don't want any of the little ones to be hurt. We appreciate your willingness to help, but please allow the vergers and altar guild to replace the candles as necessary. In consideration of your fellow parishioners, we ask you to please only light one candle per visit so that others may light a candle as well. We hope you enjoy the vote of candles and the special space we have created for you here at St. Andrews. Thank you.